The Electric Works project clears the first of several major hurdles tonight. Good evening, I'm Hunter Petroviak. The Redevelopment Commission approved the redevelopment agreement between the city and developers. That's the plan we told you about a few weeks ago where several government agencies pledge a combined $62 million towards the project. Developers hope to turn the vacant 39-acre factory into a mixed-use innovative district. Fox 55's Cody Butler was at tonight's meeting and he's live with the latest. Cody. Developers are hoping to tear down the fence around the old General Electric plants to open it up to the community. But some people in the neighborhood are still on the fence about footing the bill. I feel like it could be a great thing for the city. Too much of our local money going to it. Harold Black lives on Sweeney Avenue just a few blocks away from the old GE factory. He's not sold an innovation district will be supported on the campus. We could find a, a, a company to come in here to build things and put jobs together for Fort Wayne people. Electric Works developer RM Ventures says they expect the West Campus, or phase one of the project, to add about 3,000 new jobs. Indiana Tech and Fort Wayne Community Schools are already interested in leasing space. Still, the added traffic has Black worried about his historic brick street. There's supposed to be money set aside for repairing the streets. Well, they aren't repairing the streets as such. And that's one of the reasons why Councilman Jason Arp voted against the agreement. We just pledged a lot of public infrastructure for this bond, so streets, uh, lights, um, sewer, things that, that are, are uh, within the uh, public works domain. We're, we're just pledged as collateral for this. People are still excited about the project. Many came to the Redevelopment Commission meeting this afternoon holding signs. Those signs are also scattered in the shadows of the vacant factory. It gives us an opportunity to turn a giant eyesore in the middle of downtown into a tremendous asset for our community. Now there are still a lot of moving parts before electric works becomes a reality. I think it does it does continue the momentum that really began for us uh, really from the, the surrounding community and the neighborhood leaders. Jason Koner, whose street ends just before the old factory, is hoping things will align. I'm cautiously optimistic that things will work out and that the city and the developers will come to terms that are beneficial for everybody.